guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my part two of my spring clean and decorate with me. We're gonna be decorating my entryway that you see right behind me, as well as my living room. And these are two areas that I am very excited about. If you missed the part one to this video, I'll link it down below in the description box, but I showed decorating my dining room and kitchen. It was so much fun. So for the entryway, I'm planning on doing like a flower garden, flower bar type of feel. And I really just wanted it to be very garden inspired. So I think it'll be fun. I always have this window behind me here. So I'm gonna leave that up. And then I did end up switching out the table in here. I used to have the black one with the wooden top. And I decided to bring this white table back in here to just kind of give more of that farmhousey kind of garden feel. Then in the living room, I'm gonna keep it very neutral, but just have some pops of spring. I'm gonna switch up the decor on my bookshelves. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. I am filming at night, which I don't normally do, but that's just how it worked out this time. So it's gonna be an after dark decorate with me. Let me know if you like to decorate during the day or if you feel more inspired late at night, like I do sometimes. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and let me know if you're new down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited about spring and Easter decor. I'm having so much fun with it. Lots of DIYs and projects along the way and it's just been so much fun. So here is some of the decor I'm gonna try to use to create this flower bar sort of feel. I picked up this sign last year from Kirkland's and it just says flower bar and it has stems, bouquets, wreaths, and greenery on there. It's a metal sign and I know they still have it or I seen it on clearance there actually recently. So if you guys can't find it online, definitely try it in person. And then the other sign that I got is also from Kirkland's. This one is so pretty. I love the just natural look of the plants on there. This one I found on clearance in store for like $12 recently. So I picked that up, thought it was so pretty and I love the neutral look of the sign. So that's what started the whole theme. And then I just wanted to get some different pots and gardening things to get that garden feel. So I have these lanterns that I use in my decor periodically. Sometimes I've used them on the front porch. Sometimes I use them in the living room, but these were from our wedding. So I think they're fun to incorporate into our decor every now and then when I can. Then I also picked up this wooden crate slash tray. I don't really know what it would be called from Hobby Lobby in the spring shop line. And I was debating on whether to get it or not, but I ended up going back and picking it up. Um, it kind of looks vintage, but it's definitely not. It's new and it has handles on the sides, which is kind of nice as well. So you're able to move it around easy. But I think what I'm going to do is like prop it up like this and I'm going to have some aged terracotta pots in there. So that's the plan with this piece. And if you guys seen my spring shop with me videos, I found these pots from TJ Maxx. There's a bigger one and the smaller one here. So I thought I could put some florals in there. I also have some watering cans. So I have this cute little green one. And then I got this one here in my 509 farmhouse box. So that's super cute. I also picked up a little seed packet from Tractor Supply. I thought those were cute. And I found these gloves from Target and I'm actually gonna use these in the garden this year. They seem really nice. It's this Smith and Hawken brand. So very excited about those, like purple flowers and just think they're really pretty. And then I found some hydrangeas that I got from Walmart. Those are very inexpensive picks. And then these picks were from TJ Maxx. They came in a bundle, but I broke them up. That way I could use them all around the house. And then these blue ones, they're kind of like a really light blue slash purple color and they have some yellow inside. So I've got those to use for the flower bar kind of look. I also picked up some rain boots for gardening this summer. They have that same purple color and like floral pattern in the inside. 
Same as the gloves, and I love this green color when I seen them, you guys. I just thought they were so cute. I like that they're shorter, so I'll be able to use these to go out in the yard and get stuff in the garden and water because I hate getting my feet wet, even in the summertime. So I'm going to have those, which I think are so cute. And then this little rabbit, um, Nicole at The Simplistic Home, she thrifted this for me. It kind of looks like a garden rabbit, like one that's been in the moss or something. I don't know, I think it's cute. And then I have this little chair that I had in the dining room, and I thought maybe I would bring that and incorporate it with the boots. So that's my thought on that. And then I have this dough bowl candle from Copper Candle Co. and I burned it down and I'm waiting for the refill. So I thought it might be cute to use this as a pedestal and maybe set the rabbit on it. And then I love hanging little bags on hooks. So I added some new hooks through our entryway and I added this scarf to this bag just for like a little spring touch and this bag's from Walmart. It was like $10 last year or maybe the year before, but I use it all the time. It also has like a longer strap. So it has two longer straps so you can wear it over the shoulder too. Such a good little bag. So I'm gonna hang that up on some hooks and that is the gist of what I'm gonna do in the entryway. So let's go ahead and get to decorate. I also aged some terracotta pots. I just mixed lime with water, mixed it up, and then used a paintbrush to brush the lime onto these pots before they were just regular old terracotta pots from Hobby Lobby. I wanna say they were like $2.99 for this big pot, and then the base was sold separately, but very inexpensive. And then I got a couple packs of these smaller pots, and I'm gonna use these in that wooden crate and then I might do a little flower arrangement in this larger one but such an easy way to get that garden look or if you want to age pots and have them look old and look like they've been worn in in the garden that would be such a good idea I actually found this technique from my friend Jess Giffen. She has great farmhouse style as well, so make sure to check her video out, but I wanted to give her a shout out since that's where I seen this technique from. Super easy and very inexpensive. You can get lime from any local home improvement store or any garden center, so it's a great way to age some pots and get them looking like they have been out in the garden for years. Got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive
Alright, the entryway is done. We ended up not being able to hang those watering cans from the sign just because the nail wasn't sticking out far enough for it to hold. So I decided to just leave them on top of the wooden crate and I think it works out all right, even though the sign isn't centered, but I actually don't mind it. So this is how the entryway turned out and I am so excited about it. I love the garden feel and it gets me really excited to plant my garden this spring. It's right around the corner and I cannot wait. All right, now we're gonna move into the living room. I'm gonna decorate my bookshelves in there. So let's head in there and I'll show you guys what we're working. All right, so here is the living room currently. So I'll explain to you guys kind of my thought process with the spring and Easter decor and what the plans are because I'm gonna keep it very neutral. So the blankets and pillows that I decided to keep out, this knit one from Target. And then I have this pillow here. I feel like it's just very neutral and farmhousey. So I'm gonna have that one out. And then this one over here, again, just neutral with some texture. And I decided to leave this sign here with the basket wall because I just love it and I am not ready to take it down. In this little corner nook, I have this old door and I hung this basket on here. And I wish I would have picked up some more clear command hooks to hang those watering cans. Maybe I'll go and look for some. But I'm gonna put some real pretty spring floral picks in this basket just to add some life over here. And then I'm gonna put some tulips, I think, on the coffee table, maybe a pretty book. And then over here by the fireplace, I used to have two of these leather chairs, one on either side. And to just lighten it up in here a bit, I decided to move one of them to our bedroom. So now we just have one chair and then we have that tall plant over there on the other side of the fireplace. I'm leaving the um, wreaths on the windows because I just really love those like they're neutral and then i did pick up these frames from hobby lobby a while back this one says lavender it's very neutral and then the other one says eucalyptus and these were very inexpensive they came with the prints and the frame excited about those and then here is the wall that will have most of the decor so these bookshelves are from target and the mirror is actually from Target too, and so is the lamp and the two little poofs down here. So those are good for just extra seating whenever we need to pull them into the living room area. Um, it's just really handy to have. So I'm going to decorate these bookshelves for spring and just very neutral decor, but instead of having just plain greenery, we're gonna throw some floral in there as well. I brought in these big Euro size pillows and those I've had for a while. I just pulled them out of the guest bedroom. Those I thought would be nice and light and airy and they are very soft as well. So these will be good in the living room. And then I picked up these tan kind of taupey colored pillows from Kirkland's and I like it because they are reversible and I thought this color would be so pretty in the fall but I love this color for spring and I feel like it goes good with our couch because it's a little bit lighter than our couch if you can tell. So these were on clearance at Kirkland's for like $17 each which for this size pillow I feel like is pretty good and then I've had this bunny pillow I think I got it from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods last year and I love it. It's like this really pretty, almost like my drop cloth material. And it's just this black stitching of two bunnies. So I'm gonna have this in, on the couch as well. Then I picked up these floral stems. I'm gonna put these in that basket over there. I feel like those would go pretty there because they're neutral, but still like bright and wispy and airy and they're really tall. These ones were from oh, TJ Maxx. And then these ones here, I want to say, were probably from Target. I think these were actually from the Hearth and Hand line. 
a couple of years ago. I just pulled them out of my greenery tote. So I'm gonna have that. And then I just have all of my extra decor laid out on the ground. And then I'm gonna put it up on the bookshelves and kind of rearrange it. But I'll start over here. So I picked up this Discovering Dahlia's book by Florette Farms. I've seen the show on the Discovery Plus channel on the Magnolia Network and it is so good. So when I seen she was coming out with this book, I knew I wanted to order it. I ordered her first one, which was like grow, cut, and arrange flowers. And I'm excited to try to grow some this year. But whenever I seen she had the dahlias, I knew I wanted to get this book because I want to know how to grow these. Plus, it's just a pretty book to have displayed on your coffee table or bookshelves or wherever. So super excited about this. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. But I got that for the coffee table and then we can, you know, people can pick it up and look at it and it's just very inspiring for spring. So love that. I have this candle and boxwood wreath in this black little house. I'm gonna keep that somewhere, not 100% sure where yet. And then I have this tulip arrangement that I got from probably TJ Maxx or Home Goods last year. And I'm gonna use that again. They feel very real. You cannot be faux tulips that feel real, look real. I just think they're so pretty. And then I picked up this, it's kind of like a dough bowl, but it's a very light colored wood. Then I got some moss from the Dollar Tree and put that in the middle of it and just put my LED candles. And I'm gonna put that on the fireplace because it's skinnier and I think it'll look good there. And then I have two moss bunnies. I'm gonna put those on either side of this. That way it'll be a little pop of Easter as well. I did get this plant stand right here at TJ Maxx. This tropical plant from Sam's and I feel like it's not doing the best right now. I don't know, maybe it needs a bigger pot. That This is just the one that it came in and I just stuck it inside of this planter. So maybe it needs something bigger. I don't know, you guys let me know what this is called if you know. It's so pretty and I love the shape of the leaves and stuff but I just hope I can keep it alive. So I have that on the side of the fireplace and I think I'm gonna leave it there. I did pick up two of these baskets from the Target dollar spot. If you've seen my spring decor haul, I showed these in here, they were $3. And then I picked up this bouquet of, I believe it's peonies, I don't know, it may not be, but they're very pretty floral stems and these were from TJ Maxx. So I thought I could put those in there somehow, something like that. I don't know, so we're gonna do something with those. I have my neutral decor that I have all year round up on the bookshelves. Then over here, I decided to pull some bookends out. We actually had these under our countertop for a while, so there's some screws sticking out, and I don't think they're gonna come out, so I'm gonna try to just hide them, but those were from TJ Maxx. I have a wire basket. I'm gonna put a blanket in there. Sometimes I do that. I usually will switch out what I keep in the basket, if anything. I've got some books, a candle, a riser. I've got this cloche with a little moss bunny in there. That bunny was from either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree, I can't remember. And then I have just some neutral books. Then over here I've got a picture frame. I've got some hydrangea picks just like the one in the entryway. I've got this cute little bird. This is actually from Hobby Lobby, and I think it's just pretty for spring. I've got some greenery, another one of those Target Dollar Spot baskets. This little plant here is from TJ Maxx, just a good old greenery piece. A little clock, a house, a riser. Over here, I have a wooden sugar cone mold, a lantern, this little antique gas pump piece that I think is fun. This was a thrifted piece. It's an adding machine, and I think it's really pretty with a green color. I have some wooden bead garland from Deco Azul. So I'll link those down below if you're interested. She always puts these really pretty beads on there. The Homebody book, and I just took off the cover of it. Now it's a little bit more neutral. I also have my very favorite watering can of all time. This is from Target. 
It's got this really pretty handle on here and it's kind of a brass color, but it's hammered. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I love it. Then I have this here. This is from my 509 Farmhouse subscription box last month. So fun. I have another little cloche, but this one I have like moss stones in it. And then I've got just a couple more vases and then I switched out the uh, pompous grass in this vase for something a little bit more spring-like and branchy. So that is everything that I have, I believe. So now let's go ahead and get to cleaning off these bookshelves and then decorating them. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back. So I went to Walmart the other day and they had the cutest potted plants. These were like, I don't know, $3, $4 ish. I picked up this cute little fern and then this ivy that really cascades down. So it came in these like plastic pots, but I took this one out of here. As you can see, it's got the little pot and then I put it in this leather pot that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then there you go, you've got a cute little planter. So I'm gonna put this on the bookshelf. And then I think I'm gonna put this other one here in one of the aged terracotta pots that I did earlier because I had an extra big one. So I'm going to put this in there and then style it on these shelves. Okay, so here is how it turned out. I am loving it so much. It's very neutral. Here is the bookshelf currently. So up top we have the vase with the branches. This one here, we've got the statement with the watering can. And then we've got the floral arrangement and then that sweet little bird and the picture of Brooks. Down here we just have a little vignette and then I've got some layered pieces there that pulls in the white and the woods and then down here some of my more antique finds and then on this one over here same thing it's got a taller piece on top to kind of bring your eyes up and then I made the arrangement with those flowers with the basket and then this is a candle here layered on some books and then here are the bookends with the books and then there is the ivy i feel like ivy is easy to keep alive probably shouldn't say that but i do feel like it's grown some since i've gotten it so that's a good sign and then here is the fern in the aged terracotta pot and then the little basket at the bottom. So very neutral, but definitely gives a more springtime look. Close. 
close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest And here is the living room completely decorated with touches of spring and Easter decor. I'm loving these flowers in the basket. This basket I picked up from Home Goods a while back, and I almost think maybe I should put something right here on this wooden plaque. I think that might be really pretty. And then the pillows and blankets are just very neutral. It's very relaxing. I'm loving these tulips on the coffee table and this beautiful book. I cannot wait to read this and dig into it. And then I added this house and candle to the end table. That way it didn't take up too much room. And here's Colty making his appearance. But yeah, that is everything in the living room. I am so happy with how it turned out. I wanted to keep it neutral. And I feel like definitely is. It's neutral and cozy, but ready for spring. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part two of my spring clean and decorate with me. Again, I didn't do a ton of cleaning in this one, but I mainly wanted to decorate the spaces. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Hopefully it gives you some inspiration. Let me know if you have decorated for spring and Easter at your home or if you plan to. If you'd like to see shop with me videos looking for spring and Easter decor, I will link the few that I filmed down below in the description, as well as any links that I can find from today. But if you would like to know where anything is from or any more information about anything, let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to get back to you. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you are enjoying the spring content. Don't forget on Saturday, I'm doing my spring home tour. I'll be showing you guys through the house, how it's decorated for spring. And I have some little bonus spaces that I'm gonna show you that I did not show in my decorate with me. I did refresh my bedroom, so I'll be showing that in the home tour. And it's also a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers and I cannot wait to see their homes decorated for spring. And we also have a huge giveaway with that video as well. So make sure to hit that bell notification so you're notified whenever I post that video. Thank you guys so much for being here. I so appreciate you. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys Saturday. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.